We're here this evening with Steve Robinson of Steve Robinson and the Foundation. And we are at People's Court in downtown Des Moines, Iowa. How's it going, Steve? Very well, thank you. Ready right. to get on the stage. I'm bad. We're looking forward to your show. Um, so how long have you guys been a band? Loaded question. Um, it started out as Rob Foundation, and then I started hating band names. So um, that was in 2000. Um, I went away and did that to my surprise record and came back and decided I hated band names even more. Um, not because of to my surprise, but anyway. Uh, and then uh, decided to drop all the bullshit, or pretense, you can edit that out. Um, and uh, decided uh, to have my band have a name that's bigger than my own. So Steve Robinson and the Foundation was born. Okay. So if I counted that right, about 11 years? Including I'm, the I'm time when you left and came back? Yeah, I'm kind of a constant. I've been on the scene for a while. I'm old school. I mean, as far as all that's concerned. Okay. I've been around for, yeah, I've been around for a while. Cool. All right. So who does most of the songwriting for your band? I do. Um, that's not to say that, that people, other people couldn't write songs. It's just um, up till now, I've been kind of a, either a one-man band or a two-man band. Me and my uh, recording partner, Steve Bai, um, recorded all the records ourselves and either got people in to play or we played all the instruments ourselves. Mm -hmm. When you're doing your songwriting, is there anything in particular that, in, that inspires you to write what you write or you just come up with stuff or what happens? I, it's usually my life story. Um, through some period and um, I got away from writing these really eclectic records where it was a bunch of different stories of a bunch of different stuff and figured my own life was pretty interesting to me so I decided to write about that and it comes across a little easier for me to be mad or sad or um, or apathetic or, or remorseful when it's your own story you're telling. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, so while we're on that topic about albums and songwriting, you want us to tell us the name of the albums you've got out and where we can get them? Um, most of them you can get through me. Um, I did a uh, heavy thing with Rob Foundation in 2000. Um, I did uh, The Crown Sessions, which um, was all me and, and, and like a, a four track. Um, and I did uh, uh, Hello From The Up Down Room with me and Steve Bai after that. And then uh, I can't decide what the new record's going to, going to be. Someone said the 13th step, but um, I guess that's a tool record. I was thinking of it more like rehab, but what are you gonna do? How many songs are you thinking of put, putting on this new one you've got coming out? I like shorter records because people don't have an attention span. And I like shorter records so that if I get a chance to put out vinyl, it doesn't have to be um, abended in order to do it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, vinyl's where it's at. Yeah. I mean, it's, I'm not trying to be all cool kid or anything like that. It's just, frankly, Listen to a Miles Davis record on CD and then listen to it on vinyl and, and you tell me which one sounds cooler, which one you can fall into and, and, and go down the rabbit hole, if you will. Yeah. So, I mean, just as, just the, I'm, I'm going on, I'm, I'm soapboxing. I'm totally soapboxing right now, but it's just true. Listen to analog stuff and you start losing yourself inside the music and listen to CDs and it then becomes uh, uh, Britney Spears um, in your fucking face, and don't edit that out, or believe me, or whatever. But it's okay, it's, you can cut us on this website. It, okay, all right. So it's, it just becomes this, in your fucking face, in your face. And it's like, seriously, come on. It, you know, there's just gotta be dynamics. Um, there's gotta be loud and soft, and, and warm, and, and bright, and brittle, and, and, and uh, uh, supple. It's just, it's a, you don't get it so much on CDs. You do it live, though. Yeah. Lives where it's at. Yeah. We love the live show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
So you say we can get the albums or CDs uh, or whatever uh, through you. You got a website? Me, uh, website um, right now. The website is uh, uh, under construction. I wanted to do something. Um, I wanted to do something that was less website and more like an experience where you're coming into my my living room. Um, and so that's down through the Facebook and MySpace. You can contact me, and I will personally handwrite your letter or package so that I can send it to you. But everything's um, everything's uh, uh, priced so that people can actually buy a record again. Okay. So people find you on Facebook, just Facebook. under Steve Robinson? Yep, Steve Robinson and the Foundation, um, or Steven Robinson, since I'm a, a VAN. And uh, you'll know that when you get to Facebook. But um, yeah, talk to me personally. I just, I, I, I never try and keep anybody at arm's length. That's just silly. We can't touch each other that way. Okay, great. So what are your plans for this summer? What's coming up? Any touring, stuff, festivals, whatever? Um, getting the record out. Uh, uh, had some trouble in my life, so getting all that behind me uh, and, um, uh, and booking the shit out of ourselves or myself or however you want to say it. Um, there's a lot of shows. Honestly, 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 come to MySpace. Uh, no, no, come to Facebook. MySpace is dead now, I guess. I don't know. I'm totally. Uh, anyway, come to Facebook. Um, email me. Shoot. Email me, and you can get on the email list, and, and um, I'll keep you up to date. What's your address? My email address? Yes. RobFoundation at gmail.com. Okay. It really actually is me. So if you do that and say, I saw this site, and, and I'll, uh, I'll send you a record. How's that sound? RobFoundation at gmail.com. That's my personal personal email. Okay. So come on over. Outstanding. Well, any final thoughts you want to tell our viewers before uh, we wrap it up? Go to shows. Buy, actually do buy CDs. The record companies look at where you're buying CDs and then they send the people that you like to those areas. If you buy enough CDs or enough of your friends buy CDs, good people come closer to your hometown. Just because the industry sucks and the, and the, and the artists or, or musicians really aren't making money off the CDs, they're making money off of touring. Go out, see them. If we don't go out and see shows, they can't make money and they can't keep doing what they do. And if you love it, buy CDs, go to shows, get out of the house, get off of your computers. And yes, I'm, t I'm saying that while you're watching this on a website, but get the fuck out of your house and have a good time in the sun, the cold, the rain, whatever. But get out and, and touch people and, and, and make some friends. Uh, make some enemies, shit. At least they're talking about you. But get out and buy records, go to music, go to an art museum. Get out of the house. Get out of the house. Just go now. Like, as soon as you get done with this, just go. Just hit end or send or close and or off and get out of the house and go. Okay. Steve, thanks so much for being on Insider Sessions. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much.